Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Bloons to the Battles on the channel. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day as usual. We are once again playing with sub two pewds, but this episode is going to be a little different. Um, so, I I forgot that this uh, this game actually wasn't part of our second best of three. This was just a game we played in, in between, um, which was, hmm, let me try to remember this. I think it was, I think it was speed with, speed uh, with fire. I think, or no, was it R3 with fire? I think it was, no, it was speed mega boost with fire. I think, or maybe it was just speed mega boost. I think it was speed mega boost with fire. I'm not really sure which one it was, um, so I apologize for that, but it was definitely mega boost because um, sub two pews just got up a arctic wind because he boosted and uh, got it up. And uh, he doesn't, he does do that with his farms as well. Um, I'm not really sure if that's, I thought it was good to save them, but apparently but from the way uh, he used them, they they worked pretty well for him. So, yeah. He boosted again. His Arctic went upgraded, but not much to change there. Uh, then his farms went up to... So he got two Republics. So he has a very good uh, farm lead. And Mega, Mega Boost is kind of one of those game modes. And this game kind of proved it. That uh, I need to learn how to play that game mode. <laughs> That's... Because uh, I'm, I'm obviously not very um, knowledgeable when it comes to this when when it comes to mega boost um because i got absolutely destroyed uh so sub to pewds got uh boosted again and he got up he has three factories now and an arctic wind so he has a huge farm lead so at this point in the game i'm not really sure what i'm doing i don't know what to do either i don't know whether to boost or to save the boost um but now sub to pewds has way more money than i do so he, he has a huge farm lead he can pop Pretty much any balloon. The only balloon he couldn't pop was um, the only balloon he couldn't pop or he can't pop is uh, whites and zebras. So that's kind of what I wanted to kind of exploit or try to exploit, anyways. Which he kind of has those uh, those cobras there. And uh, what I just realized, I just realized he couldn't detect camo. Oh my gosh! Wait, he couldn't detect camo. He had no det actually he had the mortar. The mortar was a really lucky fourth for him because he could not detect camo with the setup he chose. I just realized that. Wow, I could have okay, I could have rushed him with camos instead I've rushed him with I rushed him with uh, whites and zebras. I could have rushed him with camos and I would have taken him out. That's uh, well, I guess I'll know that for next time. But uh, he went ahead and sold and uh, sent me a regrow a re ceramic. Um, I just went ahead and glue stormed it and boosted. Uh, I sold my buccaneers. I don't know why I did that. And uh, I got up a destroyer, and he just destroyed me. And uh, he also sent some Zol my gods on round 14, which was crazy. Uh, but that's gonna go ahead and end it off for that first game. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll still say first game. But that wasn't part of the best of three. Um, which is going to be a little unusual in this episode because the the first game of the best of three of the second best of three is going to be in this episode as well. Um, so, and then the because the second best of three game or no the second game and the second best of three was a 17 minute game. So I'll just have a full episode on that next episode. Um, so I'll get, see you guys right back for a second game. Okay, so hopping into our next game, we got Swan Lake and uh, we both went with Buccaneer Farm Wizard. I got Tack as a fourth, which is actually a pretty good fourth, um, especially on this map because of all the ridges and stuff. So like, if you put uh, a tack shooter in like one of those ridges, is actually not too bad because um, like the majority of the uh, sides can actually pop the balloons. So we go ahead and uh, start off with a farm. Farms in this map, I kind of struggle with placing because uh, I don't really find I can't really find like the the best spot for it. Like because since I'm I'm just gonna refer to the right side since I'm on the right side, um, like. Getting the farm in the top right, I think you can fit like I think you can fit a bunch of farms in the top right. I'm pretty sure something else too is like on the top right of this uh, map. I think you can fit a lot more farms than you can on the top left uh, of this map. I th I think you can um, because I yeah I'm pretty sure. Um, if that's not true, I apologize, but. What I usually do is I usually place about three farms at the bottom. Um, now, like the the placement at the bottom is not too difficult, but as you can see, I just messed up my placement there because I can't place the third one. Uh, 
Because the third one has to go on like the first ridge, rigid. Um, what do we mean like the first rigid is like starting at the bottom uh, when when you first come in. Like the, the track that uh, we're getting sent balloons on, like that that track right there. Like the, the first bump that it runs into is what I'm kind of talking about. I wish I could use my pointer, but I still haven't got my sound fixed, so... I'm hoping to get that uh, last part for my new computer soon, though, so I can start recording on my new computer. Because um, uh, one game that I can I can play on this laptop, actually, I can play I can play f both Fortnite and Ring of Elysium very well on this laptop. But every time I record, it just seems to lag, um, and I don't want to like upload laggy gameplay. So wh I want to make sure I can get that, or like when I can get the new part for my new computer or that last part for my new computer, um, I'll be able to run. FPS games a whole lot better. Um, I don't think Fortnite's considered as an FPS game, but I kind of consider it that. I consider like all shooter games FPS games. Um, well, if they're like third person or uh, first person, I kind of can consider them both FPS games. Um, so yeah, I can I do consider Fortnite an FPS game, even though I don't think it is because FPS stands for first person shooter, and that's like a third person shooter game. But um, in Ring of Elysium, you can either play third, first person or third person. Actually, a control in that game I figured out uh, a couple days ago was that you can. A there's actually a key to where you can change point of view in that game, like mid match. But I'm a little confused on as to why. Um, since I mean, I get it. Like if you're playing with other players that don't like playing at the same point of view than you do, that you do, you could just switch yours. Uh, which I, I I like that about the game. Um, I'm just a little confused on why you can change your per point of view um, before the game starts, but as I said before, that's probably, that's a good thing, or no, not probably, that is a good thing because I play with uh, friends on that game that uh, don't like the same point of view as I do, so I can just switch mine in-game, uh, so it works out pretty well. But uh, Sub to Pudes decided to rush with some regen, uh, yellow, regen leads. He actually took quite a few lives from me. He almost killed us with that, actually. Um, I thought we were going to go down to that, um, but somehow we stayed alive. And one mistake that I know that I can see I'm making in uh, like all these games is that I'm getting way too greedy, way, way, way too greedy. Um, and that, uh, although in that game before this, I don't know what I was doing in that game. I was like. I was playing horribly, um, but I need to figure out, like, I need to learn how to play uh, Mega Boost, because I'm horrible at Mega Boost, and that's something I need to get a lot better at, because, um, like, in, when, in that Mega Boost game, I had no idea what to do, <laughs> like, I didn't know uh, whether to boost or not, to, like, boost up my farms, so I can uh, have better farms than the opponent, or at least have comparable farms to the opponent, um, I just didn't know what to do, so that's something I definitely need to uh, figure out. Uh, by the next time I play Mega Boost or just anything with Mega Boost, um, but uh, as I usually do, I just kind of spam down uh, one one wizard or one one buccaneers. But I do, I did get crow's nest on them. Not long shot, I got crow's nest um, because it is very possible that we could get rushed with the camos. So I wanted to make sure if we did get rushed, we could just quickly switch over to him and tap 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 destroyer and defend those uh, camos. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Tap, tap, tap. What I meant by that is uh, like pressing the the comma key because the comma key like does the left upgrade, uh, and that's usually where you go to get the destroyer. So uh, sub dupedes rushes with a pretty beefy beefy rush there. Um, I just glue stormed it, boosted, and got up a destroyer. I probably should have more than uh, one wizard, but uh, I think I thought that one lightning wizard would be good enough because it'd be able to pop like all the balloons or like pop all of the like leads. Um, I, didn't, I still didn't have much good defense against uh, camos, but sub two pews just rushes with a very fast uh, moab there, and we could not do anything against it. Uh, I tried to get up a, a tornado wizard at the end, and it did absolutely nothing. So I definitely need to get a lot better at defending uh, turbo moabs um, or BFBs or zone my gods even, but it's mostly moabs that are kind of catching me off guard. That's definitely something I need to uh, get a little better at defending or figuring out how to defend it. But uh, as I said before, the second uh, game in this in our second best of three will be next episode. It'll be the entire episode because it's a 17-minute game. Um, but the uh, first game we played this episode was uh, it wasn't part of the best of three. Um, it was just a few game modes. 
I do apologize once again. I can't really, I can't remember what game modes we played, uh, or what game modes that game was. Um, but thank you, Subtubes, for playing me um, in that uh, in that game, like before in our the first game in this episode. Um, and then I will thank uh, him for playing the two best of threes at the end of the next episode uh, when we when I finish off the second best of three, um, which is also something I wanted to talk about right before I ended off the episode was. Um, I was kind of talking about how, like, saying, uh, thank you for playing me and, like, best of threes, like, if two best threes are close together, then thank you for playing me for the, both those best threes. Then if they're kind of separated, then I usually say, like, thank you for playing me in this best of three, and I do that for both of them. What I was thinking about the other day is, I don't, there's no need to make it complicated like that. Um, I mean, it's not very complicated, but... All I all I could do is I could just say thank you to the person I played at the end of each episode. So, for example, um, since I was gonna say thank you for playing me in these both best of threes, uh, I was gonna say that next episode to sub two pewds. I could just say thank you sub two pewds for playing me, um, and then not like not say like uh, in these both best of threes or in this best three and then this other best of three. Um, so I think that'd make it a lot like a lot less complicated. But it does keep the same meaning and it is fair to everyone. Which is the biggest thing because I want to make sure I'm fair to every single person. Um, so I want each thank you to have the same meaning. That's the biggest thing I want to keep uh, every time I say thank you to someone for playing. Um, so that's what I was, that is what I have been thinking about. Apart from that, that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. If you guys would like to play me, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to get to each and every comment as soon as I possibly can. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see all you beautiful people in the next episode.